What's going on you guys? So check it right. DJ Clen just dropped his album titled Viral and I must say that he truly delivered on this one. I mean for months on end DJ Clen had been hyping us up for his album but personally him dropping the track list was all the promo he ever needed. All the other antics he gave us were just unnecessary in my opinion. But anyways the album has Reese as the executive producer. We have TK and Zef Beats on the mixing and mastering and production from Sunday Beats. Michael Tui, Sick Beat Prince, AB Mark, Trig Nasty, Mello Produced, and T Ember. Now, the album consists of 14 tracks with features from Reese, Jody, Frank Casino, Black Heat, Una Rams, Cly, Altido, Touchline, Ginger Trill, Boozy Lee, Latin Over Pounds, Cadence, Marcus Harvey, Black Glares, and a few other really dope artists. Now, some standout tracks that I have so far are Viral, which features Jay Jody. I mean, it was the perfect way to start off the album with Jody speaking on how everyone wants to be viral, but the only way to get this through hard work, patience, and consistency. And what I found crazy is that he was rapping from DJ Clan's point of view. I mean, we had him say, yeah, slow motion is way better than no motion. Eventually, the river joins the ocean. It takes more than one year to build like the Romans. You can never kill the real. Ask the Romans. Thank God we're chosen. I mean, he also went on to say my guardian angel is spitting image of me so every waking day is really thanksgiving to me and i'm my mother's last hope so ain't no quitting for me playing house music never did it for me i dig r&b so hip-hop was fitting for me didn't care what the other djs were thinking of me and now i play for the boy that sound like winning to me 2017 that's when i said i do my passion is that bitch that i decided to choose and since then it's been singles eps and videos i even got compilation albums too so we also had jody speaking on how clan started with certain niggas in the game but they aren't part of the picture in the end i mean clan used to work with niggas like zuchi flame and ego quite a lot but he isn't with them anymore now even though you might have gone your separate ways the bigger picture is that you guys capture moments and those live on forever especially when it's in the music now even though he's no longer with those guys it sounds like he has no animosity towards them considering that he wishes them well in spirit and these lines just speak to how relationships come and go no matter how much you care for that person or those people as a collective i mean jody said i really did the math though and that's how division goes again wish him well do like shane and just let it flow now jody actually revealed that shane was supposed to be featured on the intro but unfortunately he wasn't i I mean he came out to say a fun viral fact Shane Eagle was supposed to be on the viral intro as he's from Robbie Ridge so I found that interesting considering that Shane Jody and Reese have been taking shots at each other over the past year but it looks like they might have pieced it up but anyways Jody had some dope wordplay in his verse where he also went on to say the rows in the concrete niggas thought I would never grow did it with no paperwork niggas thought I would stay low so with these lines, I don't think he was necessarily taking shots towards Stay Low, but it's going to be interesting to see if he appears on the platform to drop a freestyle, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now another standout track is Wrote the Book, which features Altito, Reese and Jody. Now I must say that Altito still seems to be in prime form with his verse that he dropped. I mean, he had some clever lines in there in my opinion, but I've seen some people not necessarily mess with it. But anyways, his verse is something to definitely check out if you're into punchlines and wordplay but the verse i really want to focus a bit more on is the one that reese gave us where he went on to say the more successful i become they keep telling me stay humble tone it down play it subtle save yourself the trouble used to try and make hits for the summer dumb it down chase the numbers get the funnel but that made me like the others this game never loved us playing the hand i'm dealt no need to even reshuffle i heard the little chuckles they thought i was gonna fumble but little did they know that i was privy to the hustle moving like reuben and russell arm niggas around me like we standing in a huddle set the phone on dnd packs full of gsc and it came via dsv locking in somewhere you ain't never been now reese touched on quite a few things here Firstly that people around him are telling him to stay humble because of the amount of success he's been receiving lately. Now you need people like that around you so you're able to stay grounded and not develop a huge ego which will have you pushing everyone who is close to you. He also touches on his ambitious days where he was making records for the summer where it was all about the numbers and how he actually had to dumb down his subject matter when it came to making records. 
he also spoke on his time off the ambitious and how he just had to play the cards he was dealt literally trying to maneuver in an industry that is harsh and unforgiving where people thought his career was over but despite all of that he still managed to find his way considering that he knows how to hustle now with him being privy to the hustle i guess it could be a play on words because mt is known as big hustle and they knew each other during their ambitious days but maybe i'm reaching but anyways he also makes reference to rick rubin and russell simmons and how he's moving like them now with arm niggas around him and hey i can't blame him i mean we saw what happened to the super mega himself so it's important to stay guarded up these days he still makes reference to people not being able to get a hold of him with him not answering his phone since it's on do not disturb and if you've been listening to reese for a while you'll know that's been a long-running joke about him now he also speaks on receiving gsc or better known as girl scout cookies through dsv which is a transport and logistics company but besides that it was a dope rhyme scheme now with all those references you would think reese is done but he still goes on to say don't talk to me if you're in charting number one more than a week nothing was the same when i became who i thought i would be never understood what they wanted from me death what they wanted for me instead i keep killing these beats dropping as much as i do got your agreements in breach they would never let me go they know what i mean to the streets the coldest one under the heat hurts they still coming for me i'm still waiting to see before they all knew him as reese my bro was the first to believe now he still touches on quite a few things here where he speaks on not wanting to hear from niggas who haven't charted at number one for more than a week and i must say i don't blame him for feeling this way i mean if you haven't achieved the things he has you're not qualified to be in the same conversations he's a part of in the game i mean we saw niggas like lucas raps try step to the boy one time and we know how that turned out but anyways he also touches on how things have changed for him when he became the person he really thought he was and how he never understood what people wanted from him but it was actually death now once again these artists need to stay guarded up now he also speaks on being independent and how that's allowed him to drop more frequently compared to other artists who are signed to a label and if they were to drop as consistently as he does they would breach their contracts now I can't help but think about one artist that he might be referring to but I know I'll be accused of reaching so let's just move on. Now he's spoken how people or labels didn't want to let go of him and how they're still coming for him because how important he is to the streets or his fan base and that before all of that whether it be the fame or the accolades he has the only person who believed in him was jody so it was really the verse from reese filled with quite a few references i mean coming off of achilles it's clear that reese's penmanship is in prime condition with verses like these but besides that other standout records from the album are tony scar which features touchline and ginger troll and you already know with these two on it it's just crazy lyricism on there another standout is loose ends which features mpj and k rev now honestly speaking i had no idea who both these niggas were but they blew me away with this one especially the nigga k rev i mean he's got his flow on point literally switching it up multiple times which i found impressive his subject matter is really compelling because i literally just found myself waiting for the next line he was about to drop throughout both these verses and just overall the nigga can really rap i mean if he can capitalize on the hype he has from this album he might become a problem in the near future now one other standout i have is problems which features frank casino latin over pounds and reese i mean it's reese and frank on the same record guys and with frank making his return onto the music scene i was definitely anticipating this one and it did deliver i mean the way frank came in when he said three zeros won't be enough for a nigga like me i can barely even do four for the week maybe five we can speak six is a goal i should make in my sleep like come on guys that's a frank we all know and miss especially with him making reference to all the designer brands he's got on but it's ironic that he's label free so it was dope hearing from him once again and hopefully we get to get more music from him in regards to latin over pounds he really proved with these verse that he can really rap if need be and reese gave us a really solid hook as well as also welcoming beef when he said the gram saying free but if niggas want beef then it's me and my niggas yelling free smoke so with all that said dj clint really has a solid album of viral so a big shout out to him he definitely lived up to his word shout out to all the artists that were featured as well as the producers and engineered they truly delivered on this one 
but you guys let me know your thoughts on this are you messing with viral and if so which tracks are your standouts comment down below anyways guys thanks for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it's on to the next one peace